Hi everybody, Swans here. Today to make an impromptu video. So, I was on the internet the other day and I had this ad thrust into my face. Uh, let me just say, my Google knows me well. <laughs> uh, he's watched me a lot, he's studied me a lot, and he knows what to show me. Thank you, Google. So I saw this just ad. I think it was on Facebook for these like gothic shoes. I think it was just like a look at this cool thing. And they were like these insane heels with like skulls and thorns and they were just crazy, right? They, I think they were like some crazy designer, like just like an art installation type shoe. However, I was sitting here thinking like, I want that, you know, like, I want that in my life. I want these shoes. <laughs> I have a pair of shoes. It's these. I don't wear these anymore for two reasons. One reason, uh, this pair is ripped. Was walking up some stairs and I like pulled my foot out of the shoe and like ripped the shoe and pulled my foot out of it. Uh, the other reason is I don't wear pointy heels anymore for no real good reason except for I just talked myself out of it. I have like a closet full of like pointy stripper sh shoes, which I love. I mean, they're cool, right? I've never fallen in them or anything, but I just got it in my head that I couldn't walk in them. <laughs> I got it in my head that I couldn't walk in them anymore, even though nothing bad ever happened. But I would have like nom flashbacks, like while walking, just thinking like, I'm gonna fall and break my fucking ankle. So I stopped wearing really thin pointy heels and I just, I wear chunky heels now or platforms. So I have these shoes just sitting there Obviously, they're also damaged, so it's not like I'm ever gonna do anything with them, and I'm just like, bitch, sculpt some crazy shit on these shoes, spray paint the motherfuckers, and do a photo shoot! <laughs> so that's exactly what I am going to do. Obviously, I can't do all of it at once because the clay I'm going to use is epoxy, and it needs to cure, like, overnight. Now, the reason why I'm choosing epoxy is because it's very strong, very durable. It cures by itself. You don't need to cook it or anything like that. Obviously, I'm not going to put this shoe in a kiln or in an oven or something. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to sculpt on this with like gems and clay and I have all this costume jewelry if I just want to like shove it in there and make some texture I'm not sure I've got chains and all this stuff so I have some good ideas and I want to get started let's see what happens <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I'm done with the shoes to the point where I'm ready to spray paint them. So what I did, there was some footage of the sculpting process, however, it was very tedious, so I did not film everything. So I didn't make the shoes exact, the shoes exactly identical, um, but I did go with like a demonic kind of gothic theme. So on this one, I sculpted this uh, like demon head with horns. All of the gems and everything, like they're all kind of like various beads and stuff that I glued on uh, for texture, but they'll all be uh, black. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's just a bunch of random colors. And this is just tape because I'm using like just this craft tape to keep the buckles from getting spray painted. And also on the back, I sculpted an eyeball and I used one of those like, you know those like little glass bead things that like there'll just be a bowl of them on someone's coffee table. <laughs> well, I used one of those to make an eyeball. I put masking tape over that so it'll be like the only thing that has color that pops. And now the other shoe, I did like a goat skull and I had these little resin pieces um, that I was given a while ago. I think they're little moon faces but I put them on each side of there because I thought that they were cool. This one also has an eyeball on the back that's got masking tape on it. I have this rose resin piece that I added. Um, the horns, at first I wanted them to stick off further this way but um, I couldn't get it to be, I guess, structural, structurally sound and do that, so I went with like the next best thing and I laid them sort of back against the shoe. So I'm gonna paint them black, but then I've got some gold because I thought maybe if I cover the rest of the shoe I could just spray like the tips of the spikes gold and stuff like that so yeah maybe the tips of the horns so I'm gonna have some fun with it um, and I will obviously record that part of the process as well I can't wait to finish them there will be further processes to come <laughs> Thank you. 
watching. There you have it. Brand new pair of shoes that aren't brand new because they're old shoes that I made new. This was super fun and it was a crazy cool spontaneous project. It's definitely something that I think you guys should give a try if you're interested in this kind of cool, fun, artistic thing. Now I don't have to buy some expensive ass weird art installation shoes because I just made myself a pair. Though I'll probably never wear them for fear of ruining them because <laughs> of all the work that I put into them. So, but I mean, it's still nice to say I have it. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Uh, quick announcement. All of the paintings that I have are for sale. If you're ever interested in any of my original pieces, you can check out my Instagram, which is always written down below. Thank you for watching the video. Please do let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the finished product. Did you like it? Did it look hard? Are you going to try it for yourself? I would love to know. And now I'm going to take a moment to thank my patrons. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much for helping me make this a reality. I mean, I couldn't sit at home and spend days making these shoes without you. I mean, I'd have to go to work. <laughs> so thank you very much. And if you'd like to have your name featured in my videos at the end, uh, you can pledge me for as little as $1 a month. And now I will thank my diamond tier patrons. Bruno and Lindsay, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your extra support. It means the world to me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Okay, and click all of my little buttons. You can click my subscribe circle or the video or playlist that's listed below. You will also find a link to my Patreon where you can support me if you choose to. Bye!